Good evening. Good evening. Woo! <laughs> and, and that's it from us tonight. Bye. Yeah. Bye. See you. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, folks. <laughs> the clock's changed. Did you, did you miss that? Yeah. Or... <laughs> oh, sorry, I have an echo on my other screen. Uh, it probably is or is not porn. Let me just turn everything off here. I do apologize. <laughs> this is live TV. It doesn't have to be, but it is. Uh, so as Bye. it says as it says on the screen this is a virtual pajama party uh and this is episode eight is this sexy benny sleepy benny yes it is yes it's number eight this is our eighth party we Whoa. really should know better by now but we have a special guest now before we i intro our guest i have to tell you a really quick story because we had a oh, chat God. over social media myself and our special guest and she said she would send me something, and she did. And I have saved it, and I'm going to open it live right oh now. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this is got disaster ready. written all over so, it. First off, wow. it came, it so came in a box this big, right? <laughs> okay. I, I don't know if you can hear it, but it, wow. there isn't a lot in there. So How much was the postage on that? <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me just let me just em I'm going to empty it onto the floor here, okay? So I love uh, if he would open it off camera, going, "Oh my god, I love it!" We <laughs> 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 never find out what it was. <laughs> Imagine there's a, there's a note with lipstick that says, "Enjoy, big boy." So I don't know if it is for me, but <laughs> this is the first thing. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> that didn't come wow. with that box. Like it did not. No, <laughs> uh, I was like, so I mean, like I'm, a just, massive... I'm just really <laughs> careful. Thank you very much. I, I obviously, no I obviously problem, have big a boy. I have a look of someone that needs some orgasmic gel in my life, but that's that's not it. Oh wait, sorry. The resolution <laughs> on my screen is really low. I, I thought it was nail varnish. Is it? Oh, what, is that... oh ben. It like this. Wait a minute. It was what actually it... really big. Oh, is that a sexy thing? Is it? I don't know. Can you see oh, do that? it like a do it like an oh Instagram God, influencer. Do this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Orgasmic gel. Yeah. Well, so we've got the hand size comparison. No, it it gets better or worse depending on your where you are in the use of this instrument. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, this oh yeah. This is the second <laughs> one. Right? Uh, which side am I going to show you? This one. What is that? A vibrating <laughs> bullet. What is that she says as if she doesn't know? Let me just get her up the end. No. Okay, I, I am unhappy with where this pajama party seems to be going. I, <laughs> no, I, just I thought we were going to tell ghost stories and talk about no, boys. I'm thrilled. Like, I didn't know this no, was going I haven't, to happen. I haven't taken this out of the package yet, and I probably won't be using it for the duration of the show, but just to show you. Ah, uh, come on, Keith. Now, this one... It says on the what back. What's the point in the express delivery then? But it says on the back that I need I need a, a liter of diesel to start this thing up. So Jesus, girl. Uh, so, I mean, so there we are. Uh, I Listen, uh, everyone, please no problem, buddy. I'd have a feckin' wardrobe full of them. Um, so there's. Your pen is enough. This is this is um, so. <laughs> So I thought we were just going to braid our hair for this pajama party. <laughs> I just do. I made popcorn. <laughs> yeah, so I guess I guess we'd be braiding our pubes instead. I don't know. So, <laughs> so, I, so I think we should introduce our special guest now. After uh, after she after that character it. assassination that we just did for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, people of the world, okay now. The host of the Sunday rollover, which is not a sexual position, it is a real thing. Everyone tune in every Sunday. Half seven, is it? Yes. Seven thirty. I remember stuff. She's uh, half the wing women with uh, Captain Alo there, top right on my screen, number yep, one. Yep, yep. Yes. And he's gone. Oh. Is and, he gone? Uh, oh, yeah. no. I was like, <laughs> oh, he's building oh. the tension. He goes, oh, no. He he's. Oh, there he is back. He's back. There he is. I did, I did a solilo soliloquy, easy for me to say, to introduce our guest, and it just cut out. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, before everything cuts off again, Sinead Walsh. Thank you so much, Ego. <laughs> Woo, party tits. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for having me. I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much. 
Ah, we're delighted. Oh to fuck, have he's you. away again. Wait, oh, sorry. Oh wait, there he is. That's yeah, okay. There we are. Uh, guys, we were playing. We I'm were playing be- this game where we were all freezing off camera just before the show. So we're all fucking with each other. We don't know. Like the trust is gone. We're just like. <laughs> <laughs> and then we think someone's gone. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think we broke the internet last week, so I'm going to be in and out like uh, something, something rude. I'm sure. What uh, were you doing that you broke the internet, or what kind of contract do you have? <laughs> well, well, yeah, there's 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 two issues here. Well, number one, there's been three, uh, two of the three tits have had their tits out on regular basis over the last four weeks. And neither of them were me. Nah. Uh, no, I like, don't know. I, no, honest to God. <laughs> Bitch, you say no. this like I don't know you. You know? <laughs> so I guess it's now time for the episode eight special. Alo, take it away. <laughs> so, uh, basically, things are getting a little bit of warm in here, guys. <laughs> um, take it so, away. I, I, do, I do have a really good sleepover story. Let's, okay. let's jump into that. So, because you said take it away, or like, are we not? I don't know. Um, I'll just oh, get on with it. Okay. I mean, he was so, inviting you to, to take your breasts out on live. I was going to say television. This is not that. and never will be that. No, so we don't have the budget. Back. We don't have the following for television. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. But yes, let's, let's yes. move away from the <laughs> of nudity. Uh, I mean, this top is already tight enough on me. Uh, I think that. <laughs> oh, you're my nap queen, Ben. I want to call <laughs> yeah. my nap queen. I'm just going to screenshot that. Oh, hello, matron. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest day of my life. Sorry, Ada, continue. <laughs> um, so, one of my mates um, was at a sleepover when he was a kid, and he remembers this story from his dad's perspective more than his own perspective because of the shock. So, the rule of sleepovers is if there's ever silence, check on the children. So his dad was just like, God, it's really quiet. Went upstairs. Gavin was hanging out the second story window, holding his mate out oh, the window by God. his arm. Oh. And his dad came in. And if he screamed, my mate would have let go. Like my mate yeah. would have gone, oh, oh my God, I did something wrong. And like, these are teenage boys. Like they're probably oh, like sh- probably 12 or 13. So he's just like, the dad had to be super cool going, so uh, what you doing? What about uh, <laughs> inside the window, you know? And he's just like, all right, dad, yeah, I, I couldn't get your man up. So uh, here, come help me, could you? And he's just like, yeah, no problem. Reaches for both of them and goes, ah! And pulls oh. them back into the house and saved the day. Jesus so I never, I never had a, a, a sleepover that exciting. Uh, all we tried to do growing up was raise the dead, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's pretty heroic. <laughs> wow. Ben is like lost for words. Are you Ben? I, yeah, no, I I I don't have a lot of sleepover experience. None of it has involved Aww. special delivery of sex toys or threatening death to one of the sleepover participants by dangling them out of a window. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should right in death. there. Like maybe we should, maybe we should have some sort of ground rules about so that we're all together on this. <laughs> what the fuck do sleepovers mean to each of us? Because I think we're coming from very yes. different places. <laughs> yes, okay. I think I'd love to know what went on in guys' sleepovers because I know you've had them. Mm. You've definitely had friends growing up. Okay, so what happened in those sleepovers? I'm desperate to know, and I'll tell you what happened. Please. In some of the- Sleepovers that we've had. There was there was a, there was a suggestion of threat there, but that is also quite a nice compliment. I I know you had friends as a child. <laughs> yeah. Don't as a loser now, but I know you always you weren't always a loser. Yeah, fucking. That's Prick. Um Yeah. Oh, so well. what kind of sleepovers did you guys have? Well, before we do, can we welcome our honorary tit? Uh, he's been here. For every episode so far. Every episode. Neil oh, Neil Neil yes. There he is. I think it's court ordered. I think it's a weird for that crime he committed in episode one. He's been ordered <laughs> yeah. to watch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is his community service. He's required to watch <laughs> yeah. this every Thursday at eight o'clock. <laughs> God bless Listen, you. Listen, it's better God than I'm a celebrity. You know, so <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, is that still it. going? Is it? Is that still no, going? no, finished like finished the weekend, right? 
I should think yeah. so. Fucking hell. I mean, part of the yeah. appeal is that people are doing strange things in jungles. Like, if you just go, yeah. look, like, just a Welsh castle looks like just a family day out on a Sunday is what every episode <laughs> of Honestly. that looked like. Honestly. I don't know. I don't know if you guys are watching, but there was one um, challenge where they had to, the, where they were in a, a hole in the ground, and from their chin up was a like a box, and there was a star on a screw, and they had to lick the star off. Oh my god, please! The screw, but there was like mice in the box with them, no. and there was cockroaches, or there was or like snakes, but like. No. AJ is, the, you know, he's one of the younger, more aesthetically pleasing men of the group, and he's licking the star, and I'm like, <laughs> you can lick any star, AJ. AJ. Oh, <laughs> no, like it was Cancel just, Christmas. I was just like, is this family fun? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for family. Well, Thanks. Yeah, I mean, if I go across the street, we can go across the hall and all that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's a t-shirt right there where we've always been a week to work so I still haven't learned what happens at boys sleepovers you guys oh, have yeah, like a true 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 yeah thing, by the way I well I've never I've Kigo has really enjoyed what, whatever somebody just said <laughs> Kigo is really enjoying that like it is he's back so you were you were frozen in a look of just absolute glee for about 10 seconds there and it was a great like, look yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm. I'm sure it was hilarious. Whatever happened. <laughs> yeah. Well, the beauty of these. Go, the beauty of these being archived on the YouTube channel is we get to sit and watch these, and uh, you know, w- we find stuff that we never we weren't aware of, which is great. Um, <laughs> I, I so I've been. I think two or three sleepovers. All of them were in a mixed group. When I was growing up, I had friends oh. of, uh, of like boys and girls. I've never had like a sleepover of just like lads and does it happen kigo did you ever just have a lad sleepover i don't think they exist i don't think they exist in the idea of the slumber party or the sleepover party just like a bunch of lads yeah well (laughs) um without incriminating myself uh no it does it does happen uh mostly at a younger age unless that's your your life choice so at a young age um, it, for me, anyway, it certainly revolved around watching uh, professional wrestling, then throwing each other around, uh, and then kissing. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Fair. That's Something what we were waiting fair. for, ladies and gentlemen. I knew. I knew. <laughs> all, all these years, I was like, you know what they probably fucking do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse the yeah, words on that, yeah. 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 No, you probably change your name to Yukaki Benny. To be fair, um. uh, let, no, let's not make that stick. I mean, there's something that yeah. in every episode that makes me seem like some sort of absolute pervert. Like, I just... <laughs> and it's gotten a bad rep. It's kind of bad rep. It could be a command as well as a name. You know what I mean? <laughs> bedtime, Benny. <laughs> Let me just check my watch. Oh, bedtime, Benny. You know. You've... Well, bedtime be- bedtime Benny is better than Bukaki Benny. I mean, that's. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't think. That guy ever I don't think up anything is better than Bukaki Benny. On an unrelated <laughs> note, how do we get things trending on Twitter? Uh, on a completely unrelated <laughs> note, there. COVID nineteen, Bukaki Benny. Yeah. <laughs> Australian yeah. bush tires hashtag Bukaki Ben. Can you imagine the shame? We've got, I've been like the the like the news recently is about like because it's obviously like fuck all else to report. So they've had um, like the last couple of days. It's been like what are the top ten Google trends and searches in Ireland for twenty twenty? Like you didn't like you couldn't imagine. Like, like yeah. why are they? Of course it's going to be COVID. Of course it's going to be Black Lives Matter stuff like that. Yeah. Can you imagine if you'd done something like just made a mistake in your life, and then suddenly that was like one of the number one searches <laughs> in a year? You'd just be like, "Oh Christ!" It's like poor <laughs> tea guy who slips in the ice. Remember yeah. that guy? I don't know, Ben. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I know you're. I know you. You kind of moved here in the last while, but uh, I knew Bikaki Benny. Oh Jesus! Yes, he did. Oh, <laughs> That's great, oh hey. Ben, I'm so sorry. Every, every, oh. Everyone, everyone experiments in college. Listen, Darren is also you know. in Edinburgh, so ooh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Snake. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Um, I completely forgot what I was saying there. 
Um, you oh were my- saying. I've uh, oh, that? reporting uh, people on the news they are only reporting COVID oh yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. the guy who slips on the ice I'm, I'm sure you guys remember him so Ben just to give you uh, a context um, RT were doing a news report I think it was like in 2000 and I think it was 10 years ago this year I think mm-hmm. and um, they were doing a news report and you know the way they have like stock shots in the in the news where like you know, the team would go out and just get, like, a picture of Grafton Street, say, and have people out of focus walking up and down. So it was kind of like that. So it was, like, a picture of a snowy, iced road or whatever in the middle of the city centre. This dickhead comes walking around the corner, strutting his stuff, like, giving it all that, whatever. Well, no, he's not. He's walking to work. He has a briefcase, so he's definitely a wanker, you know what I mean? And <laughs> just he fucking, next of all, his ankles are higher than his head, and he just clatters okay. himself off the ice. Sensational comedy. Oh, and like it went viral in Ireland. We were like, "Have you seen it? Have you seen it though?" But in two thousand and ten, watched- like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this is a, this is interesting from uh, from Darren. Uh, I met the RT Ice guy in a bar a few years ago. He was genuinely proud of it. <laughs> genuinely nice. proud of cracking his arse on the street. Do you That's think right. he walked? Do you think he walked by the camera like four or five times and couldn't slip? And then the one yeah. time he got it right, he's like, "Yes." Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna put you in an awkward kind of angle just so I can pour another Guinness and that's, oh, the gets... bit, that's where we're at. <laughs> and actually I mean... speaking of speaking of Guinness, what are we we usually start with this, but what are we uh imbibing this evening? Ooh. Triple word scorn in Scrabble there. Yeah, do absolutely. You, do. do you want to start? Do you want to start Kegel? Yeah, well, as we know, I'm a big fan of the fizzy uh and I found this Love today. That. Uh, this is called orgasm gel. No, um, <laughs> Blossom Hill Gin Fizzy, which is also, also my stripper name. Uh, it's 8.5%. So I shall be, uh, to coin a phrase, guide by the time 20 past eight arrives. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> well, a geese is a fanny, right? isn't it? A geese of vagina. Uh, yes. Yeah. Sort of, <laughs> not to an American. Just be sideways blinking on. Hello, I'm hearing a gi is a vagina. Yes, a gi. Yeah. No, tell me. Uh, yes, a gi is a vagina. I am led to believe. Yes, I am. Ben, what it you depends thinking? how many e's you put in it. Oh, sorry, what? <laughs> Whoa. That's a quadruple, quadruple entendre there. Yeah. I think Can we should all be fine. That, that's a. I, d- I don't know if Brad is. Re- I don't know if Brad is referring to uh, Sinead. <laughs> Pouring the pint there, or yeah, uh, or he's yeah. talking about Bukaki <laughs> Benny. I don't. I mean, <laughs> either. Either. yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh oh. Here's that. Uh, sorry, sorry, Darren. Uh, sorry. Uh, with your, I knew, I met the RT Ice guy. Uh, D Dooley uh, claims otherwise. Loads of people oh, claim well, to be the RT Ice dirty. guy. <laughs> Somebody fell for that in a pub, didn't they, D? Yeah, D is. Brewer Nickers, Adam. It wasn't him. D is a scorned lady. (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. So you meet a guy in the bar and he chats you up. He's saying, I'm the RT ice guy. And you get back and clothes come off and you notice that he hasn't got a bruised arse. And you go, wait a minute. (laughs) This doesn't look like it's hit the deck at all. (laughs) You're not not the ice guy. It's better than in 2020 going to a bar and someone goes, hey, I'm patient one. Uh, <laughs> Cheers. Imagine. Hey, I'm patient imagine. one and I'm willing to put the time in with you. Oh, a whole year locked down with you, babe. Oh, man. Oh. oh, wait. And, uh, so, and uh, Darren has replied, uh, yeah, D, I'll admit, many drinks were had and he did seem like a bit of a chancer. So. Yeah. Uh, it's the second last time I bring him home. You know, it's terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start fucking using that pickup line. Definitely, people think I'm a boy generally, anyway. So I mean, that's fine. You know, I'll be like, oh no, it was actually me, but they just thought I was the RT guy's guy, ice guy. But I just got a fresh fade that day, so I'm actually <laughs> the ice girl. That's what I'm going to say. I used, I used to use my Instagram filter that day. I could have been anyone. You know what I mean? I could have been anyone. <laughs> I couldn't have anyone. Oh, it was no. 2010. You know, the fucking camera quality is like 10 times shittier. Exactly. You can bring <laughs> it in and go, look, that's me. That's me right there. Was, yeah, absolutely. 
You could see her anyone. You could see her. Yeah. Hey, I was uh, I was the guy standing in front of the tank and Tiananmen Square. You know that poster everyone has. I was yeah. doing the shopping bag. I'd just been to Centra, and uh, yeah. the, that was me. That was me. But like, how, how far could you take that? It's like, see that poster of Che Guevara up there. Um, yeah. that, I, I used That's to have hair. I used to be a resistance <laughs> fighter uh, in Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me yeah. a free pint. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's me, bro. That's me all day. Independence for Cuba or whatever the fuck. Up communism. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then years later, D. Dooley will be on a podcast saying, there's guys out there pretending to be Che Guevara all the time. Don't fall for it. Well, <laughs> do it. She is, in fact, the original bat. So... I nice. think... Bass. I'm the original bat, and uh, I wouldn't mind sucking on you. So you, all of these things you can make into wholesome adult chat. To I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. For that. Jesus, I, wasn't ready. Oh. I nearly it swallowed my tongue there. Oh, uh, Neil O'Dwyer. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. So Neil O'Dwyer uh, has put in the original clip. I can't. I can't access he it so that we can do it. Yes, but apparently, did. I got it wrong. It wasn't. It wasn't arse first. He head planted. So that is literally his ankles were over his head at one point. Like, if you slow it down, you can add. It's beautiful, beautiful. Well, then, I, shall I see if I can find it, and then we can, then we can share it, and then yeah, last so, time. Okay. Yeah. Let me, that right. person in the middle of a party that's on their phone. <laughs> okay, well, what, what would you rather? Like, I've fucking got out With a guitar Reeves, and be like, I'm the cunt playing Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? RT Ice Guy. Let's see. If we RT Icefall, even, and you'll yeah, find you it straight copy up. The link from, um, from Neil. Okay, There's another right. cute one of a kid running, and he's dressed as Santa, and there was like loads of delays because of the storm. And um, the news <laughs> reporter was like, Have you been waiting long? And he's gorgeous. He's only like five, and he's like, Yeah. And she's like, Too long. And he's just like, Yeah. And he's so shy. Oh. He runs up with a cardboard like sign for his dad. Doesn't see the oh. trolley and fucking snaps himself and falls back. Oh my god! And it's like it's like you know how fast they fall in Family Guy. Boom! Yeah. Like he's literally on the floor, and then his dad holds him up to the camera afterwards, and he's like, "Dad, no!" Dad, <laughs> and he's all embarrassed, and it's gorgeous. Okay. And that I... child is in therapy now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna you try and it? share the screen. You, yeah, okay. Do it, do it, do it. All right. uh, A moment fucking... of Irish glo oh, glory. Indeed. Fucking Christ, what is it? Chrome, hold on. Uh, right, here really we are. Okay, here we go. I think this works. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It's right. arriving. Yes. Oh, here we are. Here we go. And oil as well. Have my con. Not a stitch of trousers on her. Oh. We're lacking sound, but it doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah. oh, we're just gonna see. Ready, ready, ready. ready. Oh. Ah, fucking oh. here he goes. <laughs> wow. Oh. That is some stuff uh, that happens. It's the, do you know what it is? Here. Ben, I, I think, Ben, correct me if I'm wrong, I always feel like Scottish and Irish people have a lot of, like, similar kind of you know values or whatever so in ireland we have a thing that we hate called notions and like if it, it's, it's it's kind of not so much a dublin thing it's more a country thing where it's like pure notions about yourself or you know whatever where it's like yeah. you get an idea about yourself or you have ideas about yourself fancy yourself a bit or whatever but like that is like I think the reason it resonated with Irish people so much was because of the confidence initially when he walks yeah. into frame and the absolute tragedy of the fall, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah, if it was an old guy, like, kind of feeling his way along the wall, we'd have been yeah, like no. that, you know, put him on no. the Late Late Show, he's our national, that guy. He's your national him. treasure, or our president. You know? I bet yeah. he drinks craft beers and goes to, like, brew labs for his car. Ah, fuck it. Exactly, exactly. Stay down. Idiot. He wears yes. glasses and a 2020 vision. I'm glad he fell. Yes. I mean... And he mispronounced you know. his microwave to microwave. Oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> uh, okay, so name? there is... Yeah, is let's talk so, about it. <laughs> so being real, right? She, I'm going to be real, real right now. She is sexy as fuck, but even I was like, fuck off, man. Who's, is, this is, is this Nigella Lawson? Yeah, Nigella, yeah, yeah. 
said microwave instead of microwave and she was just like so i just got this broth from my microwave and we're and like that's like people who say adidas and you're like it's adidas <laughs> but i mean she meant it as a joke though didn't she you know no it, I guess that so, yeah. is... did she she better have i, I, I don't she, know yeah she was I, probably I mean, lamp. she's mm, drinking you know, cooking wine all day well, no, you know, sure. it's like when people, it's like when people stay, you know, instead of Google, that they're going to give a, a cheeky Google, like, uh, like I don't say that, like if we're looking for, hey, the, let me then. just give it a cheeky Google. Like I don't, I, that, I, it's not how I actually pronounce it. Like, yeah, yeah, and like to be fair, like it's her show and everything, and that's great. But like, I don't know, I just like okay, fair <laughs> you enough. Said, you like, said it in a way. Comedy. Where that wasn't great, Sinead. You went like it's her <laughs> show, and, and you know, well done. And that's great, but like, really, <laughs> like it, it's not a comedy show. Like, what's the what's the jam there? But like, <laughs> I mean, she could do whatever the fuck she wants. She could literally, she could do a half hour of her doing arm for, armpit fart noises, and mm. it would still do millions of views. You know, so she can do what she the fuck she wants. She's probably with her team. She <laughs> lovely. She was probably with her team, and she goes, "You know what would make us go viral if we mispronounced a really obvious Micro. word?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody went nuts, and we'd go viral yeah. and have more viewers on the show. Yeah, it's a exactly. cheap way, but it's an effective way. <laughs> and it's like, oh, why don't you mispronounce uh, "tiapos" as opposed to "teapot"? And she's like, "That's so <laughs> basic, Michael. So basic. Fuck off." Yeah. What else? Can, what else have we got? <gasps> Microwave. Okay, I know how we can do this. Yeah, a spoon. I'm using a spoon. Yeah. Tweak my. I'm using a knife. <laughs> Get your shit together, babe. I'm using a knife. After you say the stupid thing, just start licking a spoon slowly, yeah. and then we'll get back to the cooking eventually. That if you actually <laughs> made, if you actually made it, you'd die of sugar intake. Yeah. <laughs> I just put in a bit of sugar, a bit of sugar, a bit of sugar, a bit of butter, more sugar, yeah, yeah, yeah. and some sugar paste if you have it handy. Rash it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's no, gone. Where is he? He's there. Is he gone? Uh, oh, he's happy though. <laughs> he's really Kegel. Kegel. He's happy. Kegel, so that you're back. You're, you so every now and again you freeze, but you freeze whenever you look at your most happy, like, yeah. like oh. a bit like. Uh, you died, and we've put up a picture yes. of you, and this is your memorial episode. Like it's. Yeah. <laughs> and you're back again, Let's remember yeah. him as we remember him. The happy, carefree <laughs> yeah. Kigo, happy and who, drinking, carefree, who died in a tragic magic bullet incident in his own in a home. Micro, oh. In a microwave. <laughs> a microwave. He tried to put a wow. in a microwave. We've all been there. That's the that's the thing that you get done for, Ben, that you were talking about earlier on. The one time you try to ride a microwave ends up being, you know, national news because it's so slow in terms of news. <laughs> oh. I wrote a, oh, I wrote a sketch cool. once about putting a dildo in a microwave and it fucked a hole in time. Uh, <laughs> that was that was it. We made it last seven you... minutes, but that was the joke. Like it's <laughs> Were you high when you came up with that concept? No, no. I love that. That is <laughs> just that massive is head trauma better. as a child. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Wait. So sorry. So so, Ailish, what are you? What are you drinking? Yeah. I already finished my bottle of prosecco before the show. <laughs> so like Absolutely in like perfume, right. out like sewage, prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a lot of information. But I, it is, it is really, really nice. So I finished it, and I was just like, okay, I'm just going to be on the water then. So Ah, come on. No, I honestly drank the whole fucking thing, and I watched Ricky Gervais Ghost Town, and I made popcorn, and I ate that as well. I'm just a fucking tornado. <laughs> like, I love that. I love that. Food and drink. Like, every sleepover, you just fucking eat your way down. <laughs> drink honestly, everything around you. It's the way to um, do it, though. Sure. Can I just ask you a question, Elo? Have you changed mm -hmm. your bed sheets since we started this show eight weeks oh. ago? Three times. I've changed them three times. They look very familiar now, not just just through the screen. Oh. What's been happening? Boy, you was... <laughs> I, I, I mean, if those stores are watching this, we want to budget <laughs> and I'll advertise your nighttime wear or your double, whatever <laughs> you're, you're offering, yeah. your Christmas special. 
I'll I'll advertise it. We have how many followers like, now? I'm more than happy to get in touch with me. There's my Instagram. Would love to hear from you. That's all I want to say. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I would love. I would, yeah. yeah <laughs> I would love if we like so hit the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we hit the egg time. And we'll like do got- oh. I was so relieved because it's just been go, 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 go. We two weeks after Christmas, I came home today with my bottle of Prosecco and I was like, I'm so fucking happy tonight's show. It's the yeah. jam of our Because I'm Me getting too, to my yeah. jammies now. I was so happy. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Me too, yeah. for sure. I love, the, I love the possibility that like Centra or Super Value want to advertise with us so they give you yeah. like actual centra branded bedding for you to wear and then and then you're required to like actually sit That's in the bed every every party yeah and then you've got to act you got to oh hi uh, yeah. oh, i you see like? you there i'm just getting all tucked up in my centra bedding mm, so toasty <laughs> great value I mean- as well if Centra are eating this up, it's a great promotional marketing tool, okay? <laughs> and I'm going to go to bed dreaming of all the bargains I'm going to put into my trolley tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, right, of all the, like, food, grocer, shop things, whatever, is it supermarkets, that's the word I was looking for, I find... <laughs> anyway moving on i i find centra a bit lightweight i feel like centra is kind of for those who are on the go and it's more convenience store than actual like somewhere you would purchase bedding i suppose you know so like right, well that's our sponsorship fuck then thanks Sinead. I, <laughs> you can edit centra. this bit out you can edit this bit out it's, <laughs> centra, it's like fucking juicy bag that you would find in pennies like it's not the real deal like they make it like it's and it's very cheap and you're yeah. like it doesn't really cut us you know it's not no. the no it's kind of the spot where if you have a fiver for lunch that's where you go <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> so if you want to sponsor us we're open to it if you want to reach out to you more than <laughs> the party tits fiver lunch deal <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or, or, if, or, if, or if Lidl want to sponsor us because I saw their new runners. Have you seen the new Lidl runners? Yes, and I got a pair. My You're friend. Absolute I, right. I need to get my, a pair of those. Dude, get on it. Um, where was the last place in Dublin I heard that had them? Oh, no, Ashburn was the nearest place in Dublin I heard that had them. My friend Circa managed to get her pair, herself a pair there. But I literally, right, I walked into fucking... Um, little on Angel Street pissed on Sunday. I was like, "Where is the, where is the runners?" And they were like, oh, "We don't have." And I was like, "But like, it was meant to like drop today, as in you know, like <laughs> whatever." But um, so my friend in Donegal Town, Brian, I rang him because they have the biggest little in Ireland. Which, by the way, lads, if you want a day trip to Donegal, maybe not a day trip, but weekend, <laughs> you spend the whole day. Little. Little. Oh shit, it's huge. So anyway, yeah, he went in and he got me like he got me a pair, he got my friend a pair, he got my other friend a pair. So yeah, we're we're made up. So I'm waiting for him to get home this weekend. Because they started yeah. showing up on the Facebook marketplace. You know, it's like <laughs> what the? F- I was only joking, but like, yeah, if anyone's got a pair, send them in. Um, Definitely. You know, I I just I I'm glad that the middle aisle is back open in in Lidl because the government shut it down, but now it is back to being essential. So. Yes. yes. They have PlayStation pajamas. I, I know Kegel looks upset about that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, I'm God, gonna I, keep even, going. I don't even know if I'm here or not. Am I, am I here? <laughs> Very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, wow, well, Jesus. <laughs> You're a poet. Um, I'm just going to sing a song because I don't even know if I'm here or not. Oh, my God, yes. Is that Jackson flying V? It's, it is a flying vagina. <laughs> I I can't use it, obviously. Um, uh, what did I miss? Sorry, I, I just kept on talking, and then I just kind of got the vibe. <laughs> I was gone. Does Listen, anybody have any sleepover stories? Um. Oh, I actually, you know, this kind of feeds into your question, right? Um. 
Yes, I have a sleepover story. Sorry. This kind of feeds into your question, which is an answer to your question. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Directly. Um, directly. Listen, Hello. Guys, listen, I had a smoke about an hour before the show, and that's where we're at. So, anyway, um, <laughs> we, yeah, so, okay, grown up, right? So, I lived in a cul de sac. Um, most of the other kids on the road that were my age were boys. So, there was like, a group of like eight or nine of us that hung around and it was like me and one other girl and the rest were guys so anyway when it came to sleepovers and stuff like that like my parents weren't totally cool with it but you know they let me like on the night say wwe was on like the pay-per-views or whatever yes yes so they'd be like right okay you can stay to like what it's over or whatever and come home and i'd be like eight or nine or whatever i'm like okay grand like because it's like a few doors down but anyway, it was one of the lads' birthdays. And we were probably about like 11 or 12. And uh, he was like, oh, man, can I have a sleepover? She said, yeah, grand, cool. But she said to me when I walked in, right, and I thought this was pretty shitty, but she was like, you are not to sleep in the lads' room. Absolutely not. No way. Um, You can sleep in, uh, there was a spare bedroom, whatever. She was like, I'll set you up with the bed there, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, whatever. Didn't really see the big yeah. deal because I was like 11 at the time. So whatever. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. We were watching films and then we were playing PlayStation in my friend's room, which was next door to the spare bedroom that I was meant to be in. And we were playing PlayStation, all taking turns, whatever. And we just fell asleep. Like, you know, we were all like, there was fucking what, four or five of us or whatever in on top of each other all asleep. And she came in at like, I don't even know what time. I think it was like six or seven in the morning, screaming the house down. Because I sleep, I sleep in the bed like a big bunch of lads, and every single day, every single day that I see that woman now, I always wonder. I'm like, did you, like, come on, I was as gay as Christmas. Like, come on, they, like, surely you should have known. There was no threat whatsoever. Like, if anything, there was more of a threat to you than there was of me getting one of the lads at eleven years old. <laughs> Ridiculous shit. Well, that was that, that's actually interesting because I was I was on the other side of that. I was staying over at a mate's house, who uh, who was also like Christmas, and she was. We were watching. We discovered Eddie, like, Eddie Murphy, Delirious, at the, at the same time. Yeah. So we were watching that. But the difference was her parents kept coming in, in because they were old parents. They were like yeah. too old okay. to be parents, and so they they yeah. kept they coming were in, <laughs> 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 hoping, hoping. That the two of us were just riding there in the middle of their living room because they're, they're they were like they kept looking through the door. I was like, no, no man, all right, we're, we're yeah, we're talking about we're, we're not fingering each other yet. No, um, I promise. <laughs> I, promise yeah. I look, I, I this this won't turn that. So you know what I mean. It's, <laughs> it might actually push her in the other direction even further. <laughs> yeah. And that's oh. what happened. Wow. <laughs> she got married the next day. <laughs> and then again, then that. again, that's one way to leave a conference: just do a gag and then freeze, and everyone's like, "Wow, that that's, was the best oh, gag to leave on." Quality. Is that, is that right? um, sorry, back. I just um, sorry, I've just become a bit aware that uh, at the top uh, are Ailish and I, and it does we do look like a before and after, like uh, <laughs> it does, Hang it on. does. Look <laughs> Wait, from right yeah. to left or from left This has been right? like it's been a tough oh. lockdown for Ailish. Uh and then and then <laughs> she, went to, she went to the spa <laughs> and then yeah. Ah, that's so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Estrogen, a wonderful oh. thing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Look, that is brilliant, Ailish. <laughs> oh. I wasn't ready then. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is so funny. <laughs> Doing loads of peace signs, like Ben is like, that's not what I do. <laughs> yeah, I'm always chucking out the peace signs. Oh, I'm, I'm always moving around like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's the best alter ego you've gotten in weeks, Ben. Jeez. That is the best alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> My Fitbit so, is just girl, I died laughing at that, Ben. Jesus. <laughs> oh, uh, a, like a sleepover party is growing up for us. They were very vicious because, like, it'd be like, okay, tell your biggest secret and okay. you know we'll, we'll, we'll keep it in the room like it'll never leave this fucking room and then you start f fucking spilling your guts talking about someone that you like in the school and then the next day they're like ate it and you're like oh, oh no 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 I fucking told you that in privacy and they're like yeah ate it look 
he's right there. And I'm like, or um, we tried to raise the dead. Yeah, someone no. brought like they didn't bring a widgie board, but they brought like a book of spells, like to one fucking sleepover, and we were all making each other levitate, and it was scary, man. Like, oh, tell me more about that <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> I want to hear so, more. Like- so basically, we would have one girl lying down. If my like and candles lit and all this shit. <laughs> like, if my parents came in, they were like, "Stop whatever you're doing, Highland Jesus." <laughs> Highland Jesus. Okay. Absolutely. I'm, I'm Highland Jesus. <laughs> I'm high, I'm land, and I'm Jesus. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, technically, I'm from Edinburgh, which is in the central belt, but the central okay, belt okay, okay. sounds a bit, you know, no, as good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> there we are. Yeah. Do you remember those notions we were talking about? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah there you go. All right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, basically, so what we did was um, one girl would like lie across the floor to, and like close her eyes, fall asleep, and like four girls on either side and just like their baby finger or a thumb or something and just say, Laddie's a feather, stiff as a board. And she would fucking like rise off the ground and we'd all be looking at her going, I'm barely touching her, I'm barely touching her, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But there was one person with the arm, obviously, who would be like <laughs> lifting her up. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah. What, I mean, so a child would lie down, and then four other people would lift the child up. What, the what a party! The would so, raise sorry, that child. What was the rhyme again, Alo? Sorry, I'm hoping I misheard you. Say that again. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Of course, he was going to pick up the line. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm actually disappointed none of the rest of us did, to be honest. I'm going to hold the microphone up here so you can hear this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah and then what else we would eat us popcorn we'd eat so much shite and yeah, i would always be the first one to fall asleep because i love going to sleep it's one of my favorite things mm-hmm. i would rock up at eight and i'd be like yeah but like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna just go, go bed now. Yeah. i'm just gonna get I a mean, start because that is the irony of sleepovers is, yeah. that, is that you get you get in your jammies, you get into bed, and then you do as little sleeping as is possible that night. Yeah, possible. And then try and make as much low-key noise and movement so it also keeps your parents in the next room awake as well. It's, so it's yeah. called a sleepover. <laughs> Everybody is leaving there knackered. Fact. Like it's... Fact. I remember <laughs> one time being called out. Uh, so basically the host of one sleepover one year was just like, Oh, does anyone have any diaries? Let's read each other's secrets. <gasps> like, no. just like, an invasion of fucking privacy. But one girl goes, um... She needs I, want- <laughs> I know. <laughs> she goes, I don't want anyone to read my diary because there's something about someone in the room and, you know, Ooh. it would hurt their feelings. And the host oh, is like, no, it's totally fine. It's totally okay. So the diary goes round and I read... Ada's just such a bitch. <laughs> and it was on the front cover as well. So there was that. Come on. <laughs> it's like the like, shining. Parker, and it was there for all, like, it, it was just there. Like, Ada's just such a bitch. She's just like, what? I just don't like her. And I was just like, do you know what? Until now, I never would have known. <laughs> it, it's, like the, it's like the shining. It's on every page. You know, it's like, did you know? It's it such it a bitch. Was- did they elaborate like why what what had you done yeah, I, I, I was like, behavior? well yeah so me being like 10 or 11 i was like do you, do you want to talk about it she's like not really and i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Women are she mean. really didn't like me and i was like i feel awkward because now he has to go to sleep in the same room and i'm scared to go to my eyes <laughs> that's fair jesus oh. christ yeah, my yeah. girls are bitches, aren't we? We really are. We are bitches. Yeah, yeah. Ben is just in shock, or have you frozen now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like. I mean, I'm trying to. I. I mean, I. I Why did I, I ever the, read it? <laughs> all the sleepovers that I went to, we just watched um, films, and then and that was it. Really, that's uh, yeah. Uh, it yeah, sounds. Nice. I mean. <laughs> In, ter- in terms of the films, in terms of the films, uh, I, I, I was trying to think like what films did I watch when like when we went to sleepovers? Uh, it was stuff like White Chicks and Big Mama's House. 
I mean, that's yeah. When I think about it, there was far too much uh, black people cosmetically altering themselves for hilarious <laughs> consequences. <laughs> I, I feel like I need to give back to the community after. Fair, all of those fair, films. Matt, fair. Edinburgh was a different Great time, man. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. You well, know. So there was. I'll tell you this, and um, I'm not friends with either of them anymore. So fuck them. I'm, I'm happy to so spill the beans. Uh, baby. There was. Uh, I was at a sleepover once where it was four girls and three guys. We were like a mixed group all together. Uh, but the the guys had to sleep in one room, and the girls had to sleep in the other. The two guys uh, were gay, and uh, I didn't know oh. this until afterwards. We were watching oh, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> We were watching Dumb and Dumber, and apparently, and I heard about this like a couple of like months later, that um, they'd begun to explore each other during. Uh, so one of them had like given a cheeky look. So I was on the floor just watching the film like that, you know, little legs kicking in the back, um, Dude. and they were in the bed. And one of them had kind of began to do a cheeky tagasaurus on the other one, uh, and it's shriveling Jeez. away, and that's the end of that. So. Christ. Didn't know that was going on. I was just enjoying Dumb and Dumber. My sleepovers were, were very, very different. We just we would organize sleepovers so we could rent. Show you the age here. Show rent uh, 18's videos. So we'd like <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, Terminator Two, Nine and a Half Weeks, um, Debbie Goes <laughs> Dallas, all this sort of stuff. Debbie Goes uh, Dallas. <laughs> similar, similar outcome, Ben. Uh, but it was there was no there was no one helping me. It was just. Me by myself as usual. Okay, so a sleepover for you, a sleepover for you is just you're having a cheeky tug. Is like, like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. On the bus, same oh, my five best friends are here. <laughs> he did not mean. Oh that. He, he is not. He's just being mean. That you, is. Look, yeah, <laughs> you look fantastic. Yes. Hands that two pieces are as soft as wow. your face. <laughs> If you're over 40, Just can you go in the mirror? <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. It's not a spectator sport. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Man. It's it's lights off. Don't disappoint yourself. Kind of I... <laughs> I feel so like fair. Sorry, let's move on. Um, quickly. <laughs> let's, let's draw a veil over that and push it out the window. Okay, okay, okay. So we, we did have a couple. I forgot the crack hat, lads, or the crack jock strap. I apologize. But I do have the questions. So uh, just to move on from the thought of me enjoying myself, um, it's it's your fault for keep thinking about it. So, you know. Um, oh, we're only human, Giga. So we're going to go to <laughs> Well, that's it. Look, whatever. That's frightening. Um, okay, so... <laughs> Ben Ben sent over three uh, three questions, right? And he's he's already okay. asked two of them because he's such a professional. <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep this train on the track. It's like no, under no, just, stage but... two. And it's just not going to work. Um, <laughs> but design your perfect sleepover, right? Okay. And he's put in brackets because he knows there's going to be some filth here. What would you do? What would you oh. What well, wouldn't no, we do? That's well, more the. I, well, now, see, that's that's another one of the questions, which is when we're thinking about sleepovers, we're all remembering stuff from childhood. Uh, yeah, the you can't you can't really do sleepovers as an adult, can you? I mean, it's yeah, just you can. can you? Yes, I don't know. Oh, no. It's oh, not the no. same joy, man. Ah, uh, you fucking can. If anything, there's more joy. There's alcohol involved. Okay, fair. Yeah, like a yeah, non, fair, fair. Uh, but like, can you? I mean, yeah. yes, mixed, surely. Everyone, yes, is, like, everyone, is, everyone is different, though. When you get to that kind of the witching horn hour, as it's known, between 12 <laughs> and 4 a.m., you've got the, <laughs> the witching horn, horn hour. Which is four hours. Of, like, the raising Blair, the dead. The Blair Witch Horn Project. It's like okay. AO raising uh, the dead with the Widja board or whatever she said earlier on. But you've got to, if you're having a sleepover, everyone has to be aware of what's going to happen. Okay. okay. Because there's nothing worse than watching Dumb and Dumber and getting a hand job off your fella and Ben is there in front of you enjoying the film, yeah. not getting involved. Taking his little legs behind him. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
I love this film keep, so much. Keep I hope the legs, I... Then. Show us the feet. Show us the feet. <laughs> Hey guys, this yeah. bit's really funny. This bit, pay attention. Why are you looking at each yeah, other? Look at him. Oh, yeah, you're making it work. Keep the same tempo as Ben's legs. He's <laughs> 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 woman like he's playing bolt here. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'm like the, I'm like the guy. His hairy toes. <laughs> you're trying to start a fire. I'm like the guy in, uh, in like the head of a boat in a boat race, just going stroke. 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 Keep going. We can beat Cambridge. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Use both hands. Use both hands. Oh, Just God. pretend to use both hands. Thanks, Sinead. Just wet your hand to go faster. Keep going. <laughs> the attacky Benny strikes again. This. Well, we See, know. this is why you can't have an adult sleepover party. The innocence is completely lost. Ah, <laughs> absolutely. Fair. That's a fair statement. I don't know. Like, I, 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 like, obviously, you know, when you crash your mate's houses or whatever after, you know, whatever, if it's a sesh or, or, you know, whatever it might be, that's fine. But I think, like, you know, it's like you would actually have to actively go and, like, plan the same activities that would naturally happen when you were a kid, if that makes sense. So, like, you know, my ideal sleepover would obviously begin with the Chinese, because that's just who I am as a person. But, like, you know, if I was like, okay, Chinese done, let's have a pillow fight, they'd be like, fucking dyke, you know? Like, what is she, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> but, um, I remember, I remember um, me oh my and friend. my friend, uh, my friend Chris were uh, drinking, we ended up drinking in her cousin's house one night, so obviously it was like a case of, do you want to stay in mine? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to stay in yours, I'm paralytic. And um, so I slept in the spare room, and her brother came in the next morning and threw, physically threw, half a breakfast roll at me. He was like, hey, oh, I went to the shop and I got you that. Enjoy. And I was like, oh my god, this is like the most magical thing that's ever happened to me. So <laughs> I, my ideal sleepover would be starts with the Chinese, Ends with the breakfast row being fucked at you. Whatever happens in between, fucking, I'm down. <laughs> that's another T-shirt, yeah. So that's fair enough. <laughs> the, witch, the Blair Witch Horn Hour, yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. it. Yeah. All, yeah. all the while, Ailish is just asleep in the corner. Uh, <laughs> yeah. While we're while we're writing in our diary, yeah, yeah, she is yeah. a bitch, but, she, <laughs> but she's our bitch. What a bitch comes over to sleep over actually sleeps. Yeah, yeah. as well. It's just like, well, we all stay awake till like to twelve. Will we all do it? Oh my god, let's be mad. No, that's like, the worst oh. idea. Oh. I know. I was there, like, no. <laughs> like, but but do you remember when the delirium would hit you? You stay up, and that that kind of you know two in the morning before you drank like your kid. And you, you know, you kind of all yeah. of a sudden you start going cross eyed and you're going, yeah. Anybody else see that? <laughs> Anybody else see that? And you go, It's the greatest <laughs> 20 minutes. And then you just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite, um, what is it? My neighbor and I, we were so close. She was nearly like another sister. She was just like, she, there was just nearly three of us in the family. I'd always be over in her house. She'd always be over mine. We'd have sleepovers. But anytime I went over to hers, we'd have popcorn. But she'd melt a Twix in a bowl. And we'd eat it with a... Like, we'd have our own little bowl. We'd eat it with a spoon. And it was, like, so tasty. Like, she'd melt, like, two oh, Twix shit. together. And we'd eat it, like, with a spoon. And we'd play SSX. And we'd watch Finding Dory every day of the week. The Is SSX that snowboarding game? It is that snowboarding game. Yes! Oh, my God! Yeah. Yes, I remember. It. Oh wow! Over some ever had. Ah, oh, that Twix thing sounds unreal. So good. Do it right now. Like, just put the yes. Twix in the in the bowl. So, <laughs> put it in the bowl first, and then spin it okay. for a minute. No longer because the thing the shit starts to burn, and it'll be okay. so melted and like got the biscuits in it, and it's so good. So good. That is ben not is like, ben that is, is that's I've never Googled that uh, you know women's sleepovers brackets. Could you melt a, a, a Twix in a bowl and then 
play SSX. Please. And then, <laughs> and, then, and then Google and then Google says, did you mean no, that's actually what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Did you mean Alice is a little shit and uh, and she <laughs> goes to sleep in the corner? <laughs> Actually sleeps sleeps over sleepovers. Yeah. Um, so the girls have answered what their ideal sleepover would be. What about the lads? Um Well I do no, like I the Chinese idea. It. I do like the Chinese. Getting a takeaway, yes. getting some kind of maybe, yes. maybe, you know, like a different type, you know, like a lot of different types. Or something. Bit of Chinese, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, then sure. maybe watching some horror films, telling no. a couple of ghost stories. Spicy I did like boy. that about you know, I did like uh, did like that. So, like, somebody bringing a book, maybe not a book of spells, you don't want to tempt anything, you just want it to be that kind of that free song of scare rather than oh, shit, we're <laughs> lifting a child, we're making a child <laughs> levitate. I don't want to levitate a child, fair, at, at fair. Any time in my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's light tiny human how is this happening <laughs> that's the fairest thing in the world um so i do like that and uh yeah i uh i don't want parents like just like coming in every 10 seconds that was always a buzzkill oh, you always yeah checking who's fingering who etc especially when you're watching dumb and dumber you know it's terrible yeah, yeah. Trying to, work. yeah, I don't, want any, I don't want any weird sexuality stuff going on. I just want everyone to have a wholesome family time. No hands have got to be on show at all times so that nobody's tugging no off anyone else. No children at the window. Fair. No children at the window as well. Yeah, Listen, nobody, preferably, preferably. nobody feeling like they're going to die as a result <laughs> of the party. Ideally. Oh, lads, what is this? I didn't fucking sign up to this shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the cocaine? <laughs> if there isn't physical or emotional damage done, is it a real sleepover? Like, you know no, what I mean? No. It's, no. no. It's so the, the trick is you put chalk on everybody's hands, and then the <laughs> next morning, you see what was actually going on, you know? You have a chalky penis. I do yeah, have a yeah. chalky penis. <laughs> I'm a chalky bottle. <laughs> yeah, you, you were the, yeah, you were the, You only put chalk on your own hands. What has happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you find each other so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Dumb and dumber, and one thing led to another, and I just went to town on it. Imagine That's my that favorite happened. line of all the shows that we've done. I have a chalky <laughs> butthole is my favorite line. <laughs> Maybe in all comedy. Maybe in all comedy, I've just a chalky comedy. butthole. Yeah. I actually have a speaking of stuff uh, that we've said. I was in a work meeting during the week, right? And I went to write something down in my notebook. And this is what it was. Uh -oh. Pop it in your bum. I'm still serious oh, about trying wow. to get a charity single together by our Christmas show next week. I'm still. <laughs> it's for merch. It's for merch. We're going to have them. Yeah, just for the juice. A chalky butthole. Why pop it in your bum? That's why. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, last weekend. Um, was involved with the recording of uh, the video, um, a, a, vi a music video that's going to be released by Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan, um, down in Cork. Uh, so he's going to be released like a made up video. guy. I mean, that's I know, <laughs> no, it's real. It's it's real. It's like, it, Ailish knows, Ailish knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's the greatest name in the history of comedy, I think. And and the gas thing is, it's not even a stage name. Like, that's full on his name, yeah, like same. Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan. And uh, <laughs> the song is around the name Cornelius Patrick O'Sullivan, so you're in for a treat. Um, yeah, I'll let you know when it's released. It'll be good. I think the the most interesting name, I dated a guy and, and when I was 20, and he was called Nathaniel Chadbourne. Oh, Wow. You couldn't scream that in delight. Oh, <laughs> was, was he was he like only a boyfriend that like you only ever saw him in his big haunted house, and then like one day yeah. you never saw him again, and then you saw like a big painting of him on the stairwell, and you were like, oh, that was weird. Fuck. Like, was he a man from the past? Alish is um, like time traveling boyfriend. Uh, no, hey, no, you wouldn't know my boyfriend. He's from the um, 18th century. Um, I met him on holidays. Nobody yeah. knows him. We're still friends on Facebook. He might see it after all these years. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm gonna add him right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go fishing yeah. after. 
Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. That's nice. yeah, no, that's the most interesting yeah. name I've ever heard. <laughs> most interesting name you've ever. What's the what? Yeah, what's the worst oh, name? Go you've on, ever heard? That sentence, Sinead. No, go on, the uh, Ben. You're, you're speaking. There's no Guinness left. You have to finish your sentence. The worst name I've ever heard. I, like name? it's those jokes, like a Nash Curtain or Dick Feeling or like. <laughs> I've never heard that. And again, that's the funniest thing that I've heard. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Nicknames. Or, Nicknames uh, are always good. My, Mike, Mike, Michael Hunt. Oh, uh, Mike Hunt. Stop. Oh, dear. Oh, he goes away. He goes away. Oh, he's, he's got. He's got. It's nine o'clock. He's got to say cheerio to everyone. There he is, yeah, he's yeah. back, he's back, there he is. I was just telling you a story and the internet stopped. Uh, Dude, go again, go again. Sorry, <laughs> no, it wasn't good. I was just telling you about my old economics teacher who would, to make things interesting, because economics is boring, he would take <laughs> names and, and make them funny. And there was a guy who used to play for Ireland called Terry Phelan. <laughs> and he would he would change his name to Terry Phelan Groovy. Oh, and every fuck. time... And every time you you wrote an essay, you had to write Terry feeling groovy. Oh, and it's just like, oh. Brilliant. I nearly you know, didn't that's have very wholesome. <laughs> that's very wholesome for this show. Too wholesome. I know, for yeah. <laughs> Let, let's bring it back down to this. Let's bring it to our level yeah. here. Uh, nipples. <laughs> nipples. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Nipple, sorry, nipple well. clamps. Wait a minute. Okay, uh, we're approaching the end here, but you can't just say nipple clamps and leave the room. That's like no, absolutely not. I can show you nipple clamps and leave the room if you want. <laughs> I'm just quietly grateful to be involved. Uh, Where did this go? Where has it gone? <laughs> just, going? I just have one lying around here. It's like <laughs> here's one. Well, it's like welfare. It's it's big nipples. Shedding. Yeah, this is well unfair. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Lovely. So, so, Sinead, on Sunday, is the Sunday rollover on, on, the, on Sunday? As Not the name this suggests. Sunday. We are back after Christmas because people got shit to do. Um, yeah, no, so we are back in January uh, for another show, which we'll go on sale shortly. Um, on event price, three euro, that's all. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm, I'm also, I've, I've got another, I've got a little something in the works as well. Um, that'll be announced probably by, by the end of the year and go live in January. So it'll be fun. Lots, lots going on. And, and while the two wing women are here, tell yeah, us what's man. the story with that? Because that's, Alo was telling me when I first met her properly on a dart. <laughs> when this concept was born, if I'm right. Oh, he's gone. Shit. Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, exactly I'll take over. Um, so I was talking to Kigo about Kigo, you cut out, but I was telling you about Wing Woman that we had organized this festival and just COVID happened. And yeah, the rogue yeah. was taken out from under us. But thankfully, like we still have our spot in the Edinburgh Fringe. We still have our spot in the Brighton Fringe. The guys were so good yeah. at looking after us. And uh, yeah. Good. I yeah. didn't, honestly, I know like what else you do in a global pandemic, but like, yeah, for sure, Brighton, Edinburgh, you know, they've all been so good to us to be, you know, don't worry, we'll see you next year kind of thing. No extra cost, no extra stress. It was just... A case of Halo being brilliant and uh, sweet talking them, I suppose, and then uh, and them just being sound fuckers. So yeah, looking forward to that next year for sure. Me too. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah. that's another thing in the pipeline next year. Um, oh, shit. Before we go, before we go, Neil O'Dwyer uh, has said that uh, the funniest name I've come across at work is a uh, Miss Mahoboob. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is Mahoboob. <laughs> is that your Mahoboob? Yes, it is, ma. My whole boob. <laughs> <laughs> my other one is my saint boob. This is my whole boob. My whole <laughs> boob and my whole boob. So it's basically you'll, the party tip. Yeah. You'll miss my whole boob when it's gone. It's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is my fridge boob. <laughs> um, That's my little boob, but there's my whole boob. <laughs> I'm not too yeah. sure we can go any further uh, this week nah. after my whole boob. <laughs> But I, I don't. We, we haven't planned next week yet. I don't believe we don't know what we're doing, and then we're going into Christmas break. So everyone, move your bums to the edge of your seats. Oh wait, okay. sorry. Yeah, it's a Christmas party. I thought uh... it's not next week. Yeah. Okay. 
Time has well, lost because me. we thought we were we, we thought things were going to open up enough that we could possibly have a live like a live gig a live Christmas show, mm. but that's yeah, not right. likely. But I'm reckoning yeah, we just yeah. take our Christmas idea and that is what we'll do for the next one. Yeah, yeah. The, mere, the mere threat of us doing a live show forced uh, venues to not allow live shows. So <laughs> no. that's unfortunate. But we're, we'll, we'll do our Christmas special and we will see you in uh, in real life in January. But uh, I want to say to everybody, I had a lot of fun with my fellow tits and Sinead. It's uh, so much fun, guys. Thank you so much. It's too much fun for a Thursday. And... <laughs> um, I, I think I think I think the the Nap Queen T-shirt wins the night, though. I think that's yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Snaps for bedtime, Benny. Maho boob, maho boob, maho boob. Wow. Okay. Okay. I uh, I now feel a little drunk and sick because I was tanning into the Baileys for my oh. my drink. Oh. <laughs> well, I was having hot chocolate and I popped some Baileys in it. So. Oh man. <laughs> Anyway, with that, with with the image of a man pretending to be sick down himself, yeah. <laughs> I reckon that's probably. I don't. I don't want to. There he is. There's Kigo. He's back again. I'm just warming yeah. my hand up. Right. Is he going? And then we finish with. <laughs> that's, a, that's an old. Jo- that's an old joke for day oneers. There you go. But no, hey. guys. Happy Thursday to everybody. Everybody stay safe. Stay happy. We're nearly there at Christmas. We will nearly see other human beings. Uh, I believe the at party kids will be meeting up in 3D next week. So there might be a cheeky uh, cheeky video coming out from that. Uh, we haven't spoken about it yet. <coughs> Bless you. Wow. You're well, not, that's coming, you're not going now. He has got the COVID, so that's the end of that. Yeah, plan. yeah, yeah. That's a no. That's a no. <laughs> it'll be an even there. amount of tips at the party tips party or whatever it's called. <laughs> well, we, we will see you uh, we will see you next week and uh, everyone stay bye. safe bye, bye. and if someone says to you I want to read your diary at a sleepover uh, say no I no. hate you say no kids say no thank you so much folks cheers Sinead 